Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for the Scrap Room to share with you a layout I created using one of the two collections in the Double Shot. And I also use this Freaky Fast Friday. It's a challenge that they have over at the Scrap Room. So I combined the two uh, to create this particular layout here. So I pre-cut the dimensions of the formulas out of cardstock and arranged my layout that way. That way I didn't run the risk of cutting a paper that I didn't want, although I did do that once, um, and I was much more assured to get a layout that uh, was going to work for me. So I am going to now cut out of the pattern papers, the papers that I chose um, I tried when I, you can go back to that beginning opening of the, of the video and see that I tried to use similar colors as the colors that I was going to use for the pattern papers from the kit. And so that particular piece, you'll see I put the photo on it and I'm like, oh, wrong one. It was the right size, but it was that blue paper. I had wanted something different. And I had actually arranged the pattern papers in such a way that that wasn't going to work. And you know what? I had plenty of paper. So uh, I really wanted the layout to work for me. Um, and so I wasn't so concerned about wasting paper per se, because I know I will be able to use all of these scraps for other things. Um, they'll go into my scrap bin if I don't create another layout and it will definitely get used. So so I cut it out what I wanted from that. Then I'm going to uh, continue to move through the pattern papers as I had outlined in my, uh, what I'm going to call my dummy run. This strip is going to be the 12 by half inch uh, strip, which is going to go up the top there. And I knew I wanted to use that from the selvage. And so I'm just going to take off that other half inch there um, and just set that aside. I also knew for the 12 by no, that was the 12 and a quarter, I'm sorry. And then the 12 by half inch, I knew I wanted to use the washi, which might be slightly more than half an inch, but that was okay. It was still going to be um, the placeholder for that. Um, and that's the beauty of, of this Freaky Fast Friday challenge is you don't have to use it to the T, really, just as the sketch doesn't have to be to the T. You um, can take your interpretive license and do what you would like with it. So those are all the layers that are going to be the focal point of the layout in the center there. Uh, then you're going to have the headers up the top that are going to be support. And then I am going to do a mixed media technique similar to something that I did for Simple Stories a couple of months ago. Um, only now I have the actual stamps. <laughs> and so I don't have to go quite as whimsical as I did for Simple Stories. That Simple Stories collection actually really called for more whimsy. Um, this is a bit more geometric when you look at that pattern paper that's behind the photo. And so that's why I felt that sort of the, um, I'm going to call it the rigidness of the solid stamps worked a whole lot better. So I used the pattern paper, not pattern paper, sorry, cardstock that comes with the kit as the uh, inch long strip at the top there. Um, so there's the stamp set. Uh, it's actually from a Tuesday morning haul that I'm going to use as the half black and white design. And then I'm going to use a solid stamp set for the um, other half of the the circle that will be the solid design. So this that strip there, I can't remember the specifics of it, but it looks like the the three inch, the eight and a quarter by three inch. Um, I decided to banner it. I just like the way that the banner kind of softens some of those geometrics in what ended up being a much softer photo. So a little bit about this photo. Um, a couple of weeks ago, last week, <laughs> I, I lose track of time as we get into these new back to school routines. Uh, my kids and I went down to Biltmore, which is a six hour drive, and Chihuly, he's a, a glass blower with huge glass um, installations, is at the Biltmore, and we had bought tickets for to be able to see Chihuly in the evening. And I just love the setting sun behind that huge glass orb sculpture um, with the kids looking like they're holding it up. And I actually edited the photo uh, to mute it a little bit um, so that it just has that softer glow. The photo has that glow feeling. And while these papers are a little bit brighter than that glow, they really enhance the glow in, in the photo. And I thought it worked out really well. 
Uh, so that is going to be all of the photo layers. I flipped this that pink paper because I wanted you to be able to see the flowers poking out of the bottom, whereas the way that I had it when it was reversed, you, you saw more pink than you saw flowers. And so it was more consistent around the edges of the photo there. Don't ask me why I flip it. I'm really not sure. I think maybe I thought that I would move the banner up to the top instead of down the bottom. So I put adhesive there. And I'm going to take that adhesive off because I knew that I had that tag um, there and that I what that says notes and I wanted to be able to slide it in and out and make a little pocket for it. I have done this. Um, I do this frequently in that I will use double sided tape to make a little pocket for the tags elements to slide in and out. So I'm just going to put a three inch uh, edge of double sided tape around and that will be what literally contains that element, in this case, the notes um, craft card into a, a little pocket there. Uh, it allows you to put some hidden journaling. Um, and again, I, I've mentioned this on multiple occasions in the past. I don't really hide my journaling because I don't want people to read it so much as I hide it because I don't want it to interfere, interfere with the design element of the page. And once I did the stamping technique on this page, I knew there really wasn't going to be much space to, to journal. Um, I do actually end up journaling under that, that teal thing that says, I think it says unforgettable. Um, so the bulk of my journaling is actually there, um, but you, I could put more information in that notes pocket there. It just ended up being that I didn't need it so much. So you see the solid stamp and then the clear bow bunny, uh, I'm gonna call it a speckled circle stamp. Uh, so these are some inks that I'm going to use. I tried to choose colors that were the colors that were in that striped paper. So I pulled an aqua or a teal, uh, that salmony orange and the purple. I will pull a yellow, but that yellow has a very um, sort of orangey tint to it. So I'm using just a scrap piece of paper to divide so that I'm only stamping, I'm shadow stamping really, so that I'm only stamping half of the circle. And then um, I will go in with my black stamp or my blank black ink pad and the speckled stamp and complete the circle uh, using that other half of stamp. Now, when you look at the pattern paper, uh, some of them are three quarters and a quarter and a half, but it was just easier to do half and half for me. Um, and so I that's what I went with. I did clean the stamp off in between um, each stamping and each ink color. Uh, I just omitted that part because otherwise this video became incredibly long. So again, I will link you to the video where I did this um, in, in using a watercolor and a, a stencil brush. Actually, they weren't watercolors. They're kind of like watercolors. Um, so I did a very similar technique for Simple Stories, and I'll link you to that uh, up above. So these circles aren't perfect, but I'm not, I'm really not bothered by it. Um, you, you get the idea of what it is that I wanted to do, and I knew I was going to cover parts of it up, and so um, it didn't really matter that they were not perfect. The type A highlighted bolded underlined part of me just let that go. So originally my intent had been to use this gold foiled craft element uh, on the page, but it, they're really isn't much gold and there isn't much craft anywhere else on the page and so I wasn't able to use repetition to to make that fit uh, so that is why I got rid of that I did try using some of the other elements that come in the kit in the double shot kit uh, but none of them really worked the way that I had designed the layout I do end up off camera putting this it looks like a party hat with something coming out of the top of it it's kind of this indescript thing um, and I do end up putting that at the bottom right of the photo and you'll see that in the close-ups. Uh, it just needed a little something down there because you have that open space in the photo and that's why I chose to put that element there. So I also did go and fussy cut and I'm going to fast forward through this almost to the point of making you sick. It's so fast. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I fussy cut that camera because I wanted something um, else 
I felt like I didn't have a whole lot of embellishment on the page and just it just needed a little something else, um, something kind of, of texture really. And I felt that the camera added that by putting that camera in that light spot up there by having that dark, I created the contrast. Uh, I didn't feel like fussy cutting each of these flowers, so I just went and used a small circle punch because those other elements are circles. I felt that that worked, and I'm just going to punch a few of these flowers out of uh, the selvage strip of the paper there. Now, the layout needs a title, and um, I don't have any letters that come with this particular collection, so I went to my stash and I pulled out some uh, gold thickers. While I didn't end up using other gold elements, this thicker collection does have hearts in it, so I'm going to pull out two other gold hearts, which enables me to create that visual triangle of gold throughout the page um, to tie everything together there. So that, my friends, is how I interpreted this month's Freaky Fast Friday Challenge using my September flavor, no, my September double shot kit from the scrap room. Um, you can subscribe to the kits or you can just order one-offs as you see them as they see fit. Um, so I'll link in the box below all of the information for that. I hope you um, are inspired to play along with the Freaky, Freaky Fast Friday Challenge. I try saying that really fast five times. Uh, enjoy the close-ups. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping in today. Take care. <music>